What's going on everybody? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm going to show you how to unpair your Apple Watch here from your iPhone device in here. In my case I've gotten here an iPhone 16 Pro but if you do have a different iPhone model do not worry the process is exactly the same and even if you do have a different Apple Watch model as well do not worry the process is exactly the same and I'm going to show you how you can actually unpair your Apple Watch from your iPhone device in here. And also I'm gonna show you how to factory reset as well. For example, if you want to unpair and you wanna erase everything that you do have here on your Apple Watch, for example, if you want to simply trade it with somebody else, this is the procedure that you need to follow. Because what happens is you might disconnect it from your iPhone, you might keep it far away, but your data might still be here. Or in other scenarios, for example, whenever you get closer to your phone, this might reconnect to your old phone. This happens because Apple actually made a system that continuously keeps on searching for the Apple Watch to actually pair every time you get closer to it. Especially if you do have an Apple Watch which doesn't support a SIM card or a physical SIM card or an eSIM or something like that, which only works by connecting or getting closer to your iPhone device. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tech hacks and tutorials, specifically stuff related to Apple devices and iPhones and Apple Watches and iPads and MacBooks, everything related to Apple devices. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now, we do have a couple ways of doing this. We do have different ways of doing this. The very first way here is by opening up your iPhone device in here, and then you just need to bring down the search bar in here, or you can manually search for the application. We need to search for the watch application, okay? So here I am, I've got watch in here. If you're unable to find it, you can simply search by typing watch real quick okay and the next stop you want to tap here on the watch app to open it up and make sure that you do have charge on your apple watch if you're actually struggling with charge keep it charging a bit and then bring it closer so that it wipes everything completely here from the apple watch next up it's pretty easy you just need to scroll down all the way to general down here and then you just need to tap here once on general and next up you need to go down all the way to reset down here so what you want to do is tap once on reset and then we do have here a raise Apple Watch content and settings. You need to tap once on that and this will actually make your Apple Watch reset and erase all content from your Apple Watch. Now the thing is you might be in a situation where you do not have access to this phone. For example, you've got an Apple Watch in here but the phone is far or for example, you've bought the Apple Watch from someone, you mean a secondhand Apple Watch and you do not have access to the iPhone anymore, right? But you simply want to actually erase all content and settings and make sure that all paying or anything gets actually unpaired and disconnected and not linked anymore to the previous owner. Okay, cool. What I would recommend you guys to do is to hop into settings real quick here on your Apple Watch, okay? So once you're here on your Apple Watch, what you want to do is actually scroll down all the way to general here. And then once you're in general, you wanna scroll down once again, all the way to reset down here. So you wanna tap once here on reset and you wanna tap on erase all content and settings. Now here we go, erasing will not remove activation lock which prevents someone else from using this Apple Watch if it's lost and stolen. To remove, you need to of course unpaid it from your device first. But the thing is in here, you might be in a situation where you do not have, for example, officially an iCloud in here, so this will work of course. Now going back in here, if this step doesn't help, you do have also another way of doing this, which is actually a more advanced way of doing this, specifically if you even don't have access to your Apple Watch if it's locked. In order to do this, you first need to actually connect your Apple Watch to the charge okay so here we go I'm gonna connect it to my charger here real quick here we go it's already connected suppose it's locked let's say it's locked okay it's locked in here and it's actually asking here for my passcode for example okay let me quickly lock it what you need to do is actually press and hold this side button in here for a couple of seconds until you see the power off or slide to power off so once you're here on slide to power off what you need to do is simply press and hold this side button in here for a couple more seconds this is how it goes press and hold and then release it and you'll be able to to see this screen in here which says erase all content and settings tap on reset and this will actually reset your apple watch to factory defaults and everything will be wiped out from your apple watch and you'll have to actually set everything from scratch once again okay so all you need to do in here is simply tap here on reset real quick now here we go this process takes some time let me quickly tap on reset and then reset again yes i'm sure this will take a couple of seconds in here but it 
will actually wipe out everything that you've got in here on your Apple Watch. And the coolest part is that you do not need to be closer to your iPhone device in here. This method works pretty well. It's the, it's the one that I actually recommend to do if you want to really unpair your Apple Watch from your iPhone device. Here we go. It's actually wiping everything up. Let's just wait for a couple seconds and let our Apple Watch do its thing. As you can see, as soon as I do this, my Apple Watch application already brings me the welcome screen where it asks me to pair from scratch to a new Apple Watch. This means that my Apple Watch has completely been unpaired from my device as well by simply using my Apple Watch in here and by performing everything here from my Apple Watch. Let's wait a couple seconds until this process gets completed. Here we go, the process is almost complete. Now we do have in here this screen which is loading in here. Okay, just wait for a couple more seconds and let your Apple Watch do its thing. Here we go, we've got the Apple Watch logo in here, which is the sign of your Apple Watch restarting real quick. Just wait for a couple more seconds and then we'll be going back to that start painting from now screen over there. And I'm gonna show you as well how to pay your Apple Watch into a brand new device after unpainting it from the older device as well. Here we go, we do have a second progress bar in here. Let's give it a couple more seconds and let your Apple Watch wipe your data completely. Let's wait for a couple more seconds. Here we go. My Apple Watch has been successfully unpaired and we do have here this home screen in different languages, which is actually letting me know how to pair my Apple Watch here to my iPhone device. If I tap here on i, for example, we do have here the home menu where I need to select, first of all, my language, my preferred language, okay? We'll be going here with English real quick, and then it's gonna ask me for my region, okay? Let me quickly select, for example, United States. You can also use this little button in here to swivel it down, okay? Let me quickly go here with United States real quick. And next up, it's gonna ask me to open up the Apple Watch app on my iPhone and tap on Start Painting real quick. Now, before you tap on Start Painting, you need to open up the Apple Watch app here on your iPhone device. Here we go. This is the Apple Watch application here. Simply open it up. And then you need to tap on Start Painting. Now, now, if you do not have the Apple Watch app in here, if you're unable to find it, you simply need to hop into the App Store real quick in here. And then here on the App Store, you just need to search for watch here at the top. Okay, so this is the name. So this is the name of the application in here. This is the one you just need to tap on download and then open it real quick. This application usually comes built in with your iPhone device, but in case you do not have it, you can download it manually from the App Store. So here we go. As soon as you tap here on Start Painting, you'll be able to see that your Apple Watch is gonna show you some sort of representation here, which is used to actually pair with your iPhone. This will identify your Apple Watch so that your iPhone can actually recognize it. So you need to tap on Setup for myself, if it's for yourself, and then you just need to locate here or point the camera to to this actually a representation that identifies the Apple Watch. Here we go. Let's wait for a couple seconds. You see the green light means that the Apple Watch has been successfully paired. And in a couple seconds, this will be sorted out real quick and linked to the new iPhone device. Now, please note that while unpairing, when we previously unpaired from the device, all the data was deleted from the Apple Watch, but it wasn't deleted from the iPhone. Do not worry, this only removes the data here from your Apple Watch and not from your iPhone. Next up, we're going to continue here by tapping on restore from backup, set it up as a new Apple Watch. Let me quickly tap, for example, restore from backup if that's the case, but we can also go with set it up as a new Apple Watch. If you are actually setting it up for the first time, tap and continue, select the side of your wrist. If it's left or right hand, it's gonna take a couple seconds to load and then it's gonna connect to your Apple Watch and this will actually take a moment. Just wait for a couple more seconds and let your iPhone activate your Apple Watch. Now, next up, tap on agree here with the terms and conditions. Oops, here we go. We do have actually an activation lock in here on this Apple Watch in which I need to log in with my Apple ID account real quick in here. This is because of the forced method that we used to actually wipe it out. This is because we actually had an iCloud here linked to the Apple Watch and for security purposes, you just need to confirm here the iCloud ID. Let me quickly confirm it. So once this is done, we'll tap on next real quick and then your iPhone will recognize the iCloud and all that. And then we'll be continuing in here by setting it up from scratch, okay? So we can create a passcode real quick. I'll be going here with 1112. There we go. I'm gonna tap on use code, of course, 1112. 
there we go it's now loading and we're good to go we're moving into the next step where we'll be selecting here the size of the text okay and how bold we want it to be i'll keep it for example here as this okay default and then tap and continue tap and continue tap and okay and then you've got in here an information your date of birth your height and kgs tap and continue uh, skip this activity tap and continue continue and then just wait for a couple more seconds while your apple watch actually finishes uh, syncing with your iphone device this is how easy you unpair and then you can actually pair it again into a brand new Apple Watch in just a couple minutes in here. Now I'm going to stop the video here, but the next step is just simply to start using your Apple Watch. So if you do have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make sure I get back to you as soon as possible. If you do have any question as well, let me know in the comment section. If you find my content useful, consider subscribing, like the video and share the video with your friends as well. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shack and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.